In Joe Biden's first 100 days in office, he signed 60 executive orders. 24 of them undid President Trump's policies. Among them was a ban on teaching critical race theory in federal agencies. That's allowed again in Joe Biden's America. But one Republican congressman from Utah is trying to change that. Representative Burgess Owens plans to introduce legislation to bring back this Trump-era rule, according to a report in The Daily Caller. Owens has been vocal about his opposition to critical race theory, calling it discriminatory and Marxist. If you want to repay the black American community, give us back our history. As Karl Marx has said, the first battleground of rewriting of history. And that's exactly what's been happening. But the White House, of course, continues to say there's no issue with teaching children to judge others based on the color of their skin. Although I don't think that, I don't think we would think, we believe that uh, educating uh, the youth and next, then leaders of, the future leaders of the country on systemic racism is indoctrination. That's actually responsible. Responsible, really, Steve? No, it isn't. And by the way, it's, it's fascinating and appalling the way that she says systemic racism as if that's just an established fact, you know, as if this country is, is systemically racist, when I think there is so much evidence, of course, that it is not at all in the 2020s. I believe, in fact, that being a minority in the 2020s is actually an advantage, and that's something that I can attest to personally in the realms of education, professional life, corporate vendor programs. I could go on and on. Minorities are actually advantaged now over white people. So that, that kind of preaching and sermonizing, unfortunately, from the Oval Office and from the White House briefing room is really disappointing. It's, it, it's more than that. It's pernicious. It's, it's a toxic poison that is seeping into our culture. And to help us talk about this, I want to bring in former Department of Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson. Ben, I want to ask you first about the fact that uh, the Biden administration, President Biden himself and his representatives continue to call this country systemically racist. Can you talk to the paradox there, the irony that, of course, he was vice president for eight years for a black president. He's now president of the United States with a black vice president. That seems curious to me for a systemically racist nation. Well, the leftists are incapable of admitting that there's been any progress on the racial front at all. You know, and in my lifetime, I've seen enormous changes. And we now have, you know, black CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, uh, university presidents of major universities. We've had a black president. We've got a black vice president, admirals, generals. I mean, it's ridiculous to say that we're not making significant progress there. But, you know, when you go back to critical race theory, it actually is antithetical. It's the exact opposite of what Dr. Martin Luther King preached. He wanted people to be judged on the basis of their character, not their color. And think about the poor kids. We are telling them that the number one determinant of who they are in life is something over which they have absolutely no control, their race, their color. And what we should obviously be doing is teaching people that it's their character, it's something that they can control. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that we should judge based on. And I can tell you, you know, as a brain surgeon, operating on a black brain, a white brain, a Chinese brain, a Hispanic brain, they were all the same. And mm -hmm. uh, that's the thing that actually makes you who you are, <laughs> it's your brain. It's not the color of your skin or the texture of your hair. And if you were an animal, that's what you look at. You look at external characteristics because your frontal lobes are not developed enough for you to dive deeper than superficial characteristics and to understand what's going on. I want to get your reaction, sir, to Congressman Owens talking about critical race theory in black communities. Let's take a listen. You take away our history, you take away pride in our past, appreciation for our present, and a vision for our future. And that's what you're seeing in Chicago, Baltimore, Ferguson. Every place Democrats oversee a black community is misery. And we're going to blame white people? Your take on the impact in black communities. Well, uh, interestingly enough, you know, the, the whole critical race theory tries to make black people into victims. And I can tell you that was even going on when I was a, a kid growing up. You're black, the system is against you, all of these people hate you, you can't succeed. And believe me, if you buy into it, it becomes self-fulfilling. Uh, if you think you're a victim, you are a victim. Mm. 
But there are so many opportunities in our country. It's the reason that this is the destination for so many places around the world. Why would people form caravans trying to get in here so that they could be right. abused by a systemically racist system? It makes no sense on the surface at all whatsoever. No, I think that's a great point, Dr. Carson. If you look at the, the immigrants of the world who are clamoring to come here, the vast majority of them, of course, are not white. Uh, why would they come to some racist hellscape as it's described by Joe <laughs> Biden? That just makes, makes no sense at all. Dr. Ben Dr. Carson, Dr. thank you so much for your time this evening. About. Absolutely. Always nice to be with you. We appreciate you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.